Ryder, what do you think of all the toys? <laughs> oh, okay, no, yep, there you go. <laughs> what is going on, my friends? I am Pixel Dan, and today I am in Evansville, Indiana, at the grand opening of Evansville Toys and Games. I'm really excited about this particular toy hunt because this store is opening for the first time today, but there's a bit of a history here and a bit of a story behind it that is just really inspiring. And we're gonna talk about that when we talk to the owner later on. But there's two reasons I'm here today, because I'm not here just a toy hunt, but I'm also here as a guest with my book. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some signings, hopefully meeting some people, so it's gonna be a really packed, really fun day, and you know I'm gonna squeeze in some toy hunting as well. So let's head on inside the brand new Evansville Toys and Games. Let's go. So we're at that part right before the doors open. There's actually a line of people outside, which is really exciting, but I've got a cool little area set up back here where I've got books so people can come and they can grab a book from me uh, they can bring their books we can do signings should be a lot of fun and then right out here is just this massive toy store with my wife and my baby right there hi wife and baby <laughs> but the doors are about to open so it's gonna be really exciting This opening has been amazing. Like, it's been so busy in here today. I haven't even really had a chance to go out there and look at the store yet, but we're gonna do that here in just a little bit. But it's awesome to see the grand opening going so well uh, for these guys who just opened up their shop. Lots of customers have been coming in. Lots of folks have been checking out the book, which has been amazing. And I wanted to introduce you to my friend, Nathan, over here. Say hi, Nathan. Hi. So Nathan is awesome because he actually did some work on the book with me. He helped make my photography look nice and pretty, right? Is that I, I oversimplifying my, what you did? I, it was already really pretty. I, uh, <laughs> I just I just cleaned up some stuff. Cleaned up my Straight, photography. Straightened up some teeth. There we go. Oh, oh <laughs> that's that what you know? There, there was a Skeletor that had some really... Oh, is that? Teeth, oh, right. so we're just totally manipulating. Yeah, the, okay, so I, I, did, I did some. I did some funny stuff. <laughs> so Nathan also did the amazing artwork that you guys saw on the front windows of this building, right? Yeah, and you're I local am. here, I am. so he's how I found out about this event. Um, and he's also got his own thing going on here. Like you do, like custom action figures, I but do. you you do it unique because you actually put people's faces on the figures, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a sucker for personalized things, personalized drawings, personalized toys, right? When I was a kid, the 
the end all be all for me was a figure with my head on it. So yeah, that's that's what I do. I try to share that with other people. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for all the work that you helped me out with on the book and for bringing me here to the show and I hope it shows yeah it's been awesome man it's been awesome so the, I'm here with Daniel who is the owner of Evansville Toys and Games and I wanted to chat with you for the grand opening here because there's a little bit of a backstory that goes along with why you're reopening this shop right. so what happens about a couple months ago we uh, had a buyer at the place where we were having all of our merchandise at which was a pretty large scale of toys, games, and collectibles um, at the Diamond Flea Market. It was it was more than a flea market. It was almost like a mini store. Right, right. And the fire came through and just wiped out yeah. everything? Yeah, it took it all. It went to Oh, ash. that is the worst. Yeah, it just, it just completely uh, took everything, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. But, no, but from the, the actual ashes <laughs> rose this amazing store, and now you've got your own actual store location yes, yes. with all of this. And I, I understand, like, this kind of came about pretty quickly. Too, right? right, yeah. Within a month and ten days after we got the keys to the building, we went from that to this. So it's been incredible. That is amazing. And now you've got this massive store, these long aisles. It's filled with toys. This morning there were people standing, like, waiting to get in. The line was out to the road. It's been so crowded in here. Like, that has to feel good. Right? Feels amazing. Feels that amazing. Is, that's incredible. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, I'm just thankful for everybody that's been involved to get this rocking. Yeah, absolutely. Well, man, I'm wishing you the best of luck. I hope that the hope this is very successful for you. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much. Awesome. Appreciate you. So one of the things that blows me away about this place is just the these long aisles that are just chock full of toys. And they really do have almost like this Toys R Us vibe, right? Like this looks like kind of some retail shelving, the pegboards, the blue strips on the shelves. Like it just gives you that retro feeling, that Toys R Us feeling. Um, but the selection in here is amazing because there's so much going on. You know, lots of vintage stuff here. The Playmate Star Trek line is a favorite of mine. It is, you know, it's not an expensive line to collect. In fact, it looks like every figure here is $7.99. Um, but I love these. I mean, the character selection is so great. It's, it's probably, I mean, it's at least my favorite Star Trek toy line. I'm a huge Next Generation fan. And uh, I'd love to, I mean, look at this wall. This is unbelievable, all of these figures here. You can really see that these have been picked through, which is understandable, but man, I love these 90s toys that are here. I mean, first of all, Skeleton Warriors is such a great line. And we've got a bunch of old Skeleton Warriors figures here, including the horse, the war horse, and the skull cycle are both up here. But we've even got like some really funky stuff like the Double Dragon line from the original cartoon series. We've got lots of the Kenner Predator figures here. And like I said, these are wiped out. This, this had a much bigger stock when I was able to peek at it before all the people came in today. But still, uh, tons of alien figures here as well. Which you guys know I'm a big fan of the old Kenner alien and predator lines. I mean, look at this. And it just keeps going. we got Terminator. We've got Robocop. I mean, seriously, check it out. We've got the Toy Island RoboCop stuff and the Kenner RoboCop stuff. Look at all of this. It's amazing. Honestly, I'm really into seeing all of these Kenner Batman figures. And it's funny because, like, I know it was always a joke, right? All of the Batman variants and how silly that was. But now I am feeling very nostalgic for all of these different Batman suits. Look at this, we got Night Climber Batman. We have Power Wing Batman. I definitely had this one when I was younger. What else we got in there? We got Laser Batman. Thunder Whip Batman. Oh, here's one of my favorites right here. Air Attack Batman. That, I mean, come on. Come on. That thing's amazing. Aero Strike Batman is right behind that. Oh, and there's Arctic Batman. You gotta love him. Polar Blast Batman. I love the ice themed ones. Bye, Batman, please. But if you're not into the bat variants, like me, I understand. I like weird stuff sometimes. But look, lots of Batman animated series figures are here too. There's Tommy Lee Jones' Two Face. <laughs> This is a good selection here. It's really amazing. This wall of Star Wars is <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, oh my gosh. 
So look at this. We've got like all the way down here. What was this? It was like the Saga Collection stuff. We've got all of this Episode 1 stuff. And then it's the Power of the Force stuff. And I know, right? This stuff is like a dime a dozen these days. But let me tell you something. When I look at this wall right here of all these orange carded or red carded or whatever you want to call them, these original release Power of the Force figures, this makes me extremely nostalgic. And I get it. There's nothing like vintage Kenner, right? But I don't think it's said enough how important these figures were to a generation of us. Like, these figures were so fun to track down and find. And they kind of are, are the line that's responsible for turning me into a toy collector. I feel like I just love seeing this. And there's some really fun stuff here. Look, we even got some of the long saber figures. And uh, I think this is a long saber Vader here. Yeah, there's the long saber Obi Wan. I mean, I don't know. I love it. I love that I still know that stuff too, because we were looking for that stuff. I remember R2 D2 being so hard to find for some reason. And that C3PO, man. It took me forever to track him down when I was younger. So this is amazing. And I love Shadows of the Empire. I just talked about these in a video recently and here they are. They've got like the whole line here and it's just, it's so cool seeing them just because, you know, when Shadows of the Empire dropped, it was so exciting. It was like this big event. You know, I read the book, I played the video game on Nintendo 64 and of course I had all these figures. The swoops down here, the comic packs are down here. There's Vader and Prince Seizure. Boba Fett and IG-88, and Dash Rendar's Outrider. So cool. So of all of those Power of the Force figures aren't your thing, which I totally get it, they do have a lot of the vintage Kenner stuff over here in the case as well. So you've got that stuff to look at. Look, down on the bottom we've even got some... Yeah, there's part of the Hoth playsets. <laughs> Snow Speeder, Tauntaun, X-Wing, and then we've even got some Black Series stuff up here as well. So they do have quite a Star Wars selection. Look at all this stuff over here. So there's a pretty incredible case over here filled, filled with wrestling figures. Uh, we got some of the Masters of the WWE stuff up here. You can see on the front, on the top shelf. Old school wrestling superstars, Hulk Hogan up there. Uh, there is a ton, I mean a ton of the Hasbro stuff. I know there is a lot of fans and collectors of the Hasbros. Check these things out, man. The Honky Tonk Man, oh, look at Adam Bomb. Look at Adam Bomb. Brother Brutai back there. Some of these guys got some custom stuff going on and there's actually, I'll show you when we get over here. It's a whole bunch of custom figures too, which are pretty great. Look at that Owen. Look at Heenan. But there's plenty of the official releases in here too. Look, Nails and Yokozuna. There's Virgil Wrestling Superstar. <laughs> Bam Bam. There's HBK. Repo Man. Seriously, man, that's amazing looking at this selection. And it just continues down here too. Look at this. Bulldog. Oh, look, there's Razor. Holy cow. Amazing. Andre, Macho King, Slaughter, Steamboat. Amazing. And then on the very bottom, we got a bunch of the uh, LJNs as well. It's an amazing selection here. Oh, even some of the later uh, Jax figures that were mimicking the LJNs. Several more LJNs up here. Look at this funk. Hillbilly Jim. Look at all the Hillbilly Jims with his hat. Freddie Blassie. There's a great mixture of nostalgia in this case. I mean, look, we got the Voltron Castle of Lions up here. Castle Grayskull, Snake Mountain. And then as you come down to the next shelf, I mean, look at all this stuff in here. There's a talking peewee back there. We got some Micronauts. There's a Flash Gordon. There's some Thundercats figures. Dragon's Lair stuff. Robo Force. Secret Wars. And then down here, we've got more Masters of the Universe goodness in here. We got Skeletor and He-Man and Leech, Battle Cats. There's a pretty nifty book back there. That's pretty rad to see. <laughs> hey, look, there's a carded Catra. Very yellowed bubble, but still. Oh, the, you know, that'd be a great opener, though. If you want one that's, like, complete and in good shape. 
And there is best Storm Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> it's my I love the Ninja Force stuff, and that's my favorite Storm Shadow suit. Voltron, Battle Beast, Street Sharks, my goodness, so much great stuff down here. Some masters over here, some baggied figures. Oh, there's a Screech back there. Jitsu, Spike Or, some man at arms. There's another Spike Or with no legs. This poor band broke. We got some Origins figures here too. Does anybody need a Skeletor? I never see these guys in retail. That's, that's sarcasm because I see way too many of these in retail. <laughs> but hey, they got another, other, other figures here too. That's cool. Oh, some baggy Joes. Look at that. Kind of a mixture of different eras in here. It looks like, oh, hey, Chun-Li. Love me some Street Fighter GI Joes. And there's Best Storm Shadow again. Modern style. Okay, now this, this is an amazing little shelf over here in the corner. So first of all, we've got a bunch of the Matchbox Pee Wee figures over here, which I love this line. Pee Wee, Cowboy Curtis is in here. Here's Cherry. Here's Miss Yvonne. There's Terry and Randy and Globy and magic screen and then look it's uh the sequest figures do you guys remember when playmates this was right around the time they were doing the star trek stuff but you guys remember sequest so there's all these sequest figures here and coneheads playmates did these too amazing look at this it's always amazing to see the things that they uh they just tried like the Sequest figures are like, they're all just like people. <laughs> except for except for the dolphin, which is probably the most exciting figure in the line, is Darwin. The Wuzzles! Amazing. Now I don't know much about Transformers, but what I do know is that Beast Wars is the best version, right? That's definitely what everybody thinks. Monkey better than truck. That's the thing I know for sure. <laughs> There's a lot of great Transformers in here, though, for anybody that's looking for Transformers. Look at this. They've also got a selection of comic books here, and they got some boxes to dig through, and they're all sitting on these really rad vintage uh, bed sheets. <laughs> Transformers and Turtles. Ninja Turtles, the movie, the comic adaption. Awesome. So they got a bunch of video games here, too. And it's like a, a mixture of like some modern stuff and there's some older stuff. Like they got Wii stuff here. They got all these baggied figures over here of Skylander stuff. And there's some Disney Infinity stuff and all that too. They got Pokemon cards in the cases up here. And they've even got a bunch of retro games too. Look, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, 64, Switch. They got everything. All right, there is an amazing case of Ninja Turtle stuff here and so many cool things that we're gonna look at. I mean, look, we got Jumbo movie star Donnie and Mikey up here, which I've really had my eye on since I walked in today. Uh, but so much cool stuff in here. I mean, we got all kinds of merch that I love to see, like that yo-yo. We got the water bottles, which is great. We got some NECA Super Shredder goodness in here. We got vintage party wagon over here. Oh my gosh. I have the Raphael version of that ornament right there, and I've had it since I was a kid. Oh my gosh, that's so cool to see a Mikey version. This shelf here has got just a ton of loose figures. I love, there's some VHS tapes back there. It's a sticker activity album back there. Oh, we even got some Toxic Crusaders kind of thrown in here. Yeah, there's a carded one back there too. Look at the, look at this carded head dropping Leo. Unpunched. That is nice, $40. Lots of vehicles over here. Lots of amazing vehicles. I got the cereal bowls back there. Got the cookie jar back there. Oh, and I got the egg hatching. <laughs> Mikey, those are so weird, but they're cool. And then of course on the very bottom, you got the Technodrome. You've got another party wagon. You got pizza throwers and you got these micro mutants play sets. 
which I love to see. The massive modern wrestling section here as well, as well as tons of baggied figures. Oh, hey, Ninja Turtle stuff. What? These are these are not vintage. These are those those weird modern reissues that play major. Look at this splinter. What even? What? Ah, but here's some here's some stuff. Oh, look, Dr. Killamoff from Toxic Crusaders. So we got lots of baggy turtles here. It's kind of a mixture though. Like here's some Bay movie turtles. Here's some 2012 era turtles, which I love that line. I love that era. I love that series. Mutate and Splinter. Retro Splinter. Yeah, oh hey. Lots of mousers from the 2012 series. A couple bags of them up here. $24.99, but that's not bad. These things were, man, people were really after these when these were coming out. I remember building armies of mousers. I love just like the variety here too. And just the weird things that you stumble upon. Like we got a couple Rambo figures in here. I love this guy. Always love this one. And then there's also some Chuck Norris Karate Commandos in here too. Yeah, there's Chuck Norris. And a uh, mask figure. <laughs> Quite the variety. Man, so speaking of wrestling figures, look at all of the AWA figures down here. Holy moly, there's such a such a good selection of these out. Oh, this is amazing. Woo! I can't stop thinking about these variant Batman figures, and maybe you guys think I'm crazy, but I think I'm gonna grab at least one of these, maybe more, I don't know. Oh, it's so I love the Air Attack Batman. Got this fantastic selection of Power Rangers stuff here, and there's some real, real cool things here. Like, look at this. These are like prop mold pieces. This is like a screen used prop from Lightspeed Rescue. And then over here, look at this, there's these are the chest power coins for Power Rangers the movie. It's really cool. They got some neat things here. It's a Time Force screen used blaster prop back there too. Wow. Of course, plenty of figures. They got the, I love the, the vac metalized movie figures. Those are the larger ones back there. And of course, Ivan Ooze. Whoa, I love this. Call the guardian beast, big beast god. That is awesome. Pretty great NECA section here. And I know there was a lot more here earlier too. I saw several gremlins here. Oh, Pinhead. I've got this one, I love this. It's the Ultimates one. Ultimate Pinhead. Oh, there's a couple uh, loose, oh, hey, Spawn. Counter Predator. Oh, there's lots of, uh, Godzilla King of Monsters stuff here too. Wow, there's tons of these. These are the ones that were Walmart exclusive. Hey, 20 bucks isn't bad at all. King Ghidorah. It's the larger scale Godzillas. Here's those smaller sets. I remember those. It's the ones that Jax did. This display case might be my favorite in the store. Just because I love seeing all of this different type of Hulk merchandise. Oh my gosh, it's nothing but Hulk toys. Look at this. Hulk utility belt. You know, like that's a thing that he, he, he had his gamma radiation detector and his Hulk belt. Yeah, that's a thing, I remember that. Okay, I love this old school Toy Biz giant size Hulk figure up here. I have the Wolverine in my collection, uh, but I've always wanted to get this Hulk. Down here they've got this heavy hitters like Hulk versus Wolverine game from Toy Biz, which I don't remember this. And then up here they have like just the Hulk by himself. I don't know if it's the same thing, but it, I, it's part of that game. But that's interesting. We got all these Hulk VHSs in here, which is so great. Oh, Bill Bixby, Hulk, cool. Okay, so I'm not sure. So these people, they're very scared, and I get it, because there's this volcano erupting over here. And Hulk's like, don't worry guys, I got you. Hulk will throw rocks at the volcano. <laughs> oh, I get it, wait, he's building a wall. He's building a wall, okay, all right. 
I was gonna say, I'm not so sure about your plan here, Hulk. All right, Daniel, I've been eyeballing these movie star turtles all day, but as I understand it, there's some story to tell with these, right? Yes, yes, these uh, these turtles were actually in the building when the fire took place. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they were on one of the top shelves, and when they, I guess they fell during the fire, and a bunch of items fell on top of them, and somehow during that whole thing, they survived. They definitely have some battle wounds, but they survived. Can we pull them down and look at them? Definitely. Oh, awesome. Definitely. Oh, yes. Man, I love the jumbos. Yes, they look cool. And there's Mr. Donatello. Oh, so he's got like a little scuff on his shell here. Yeah, yeah. He got in a fight. Shredder. Shredder. <laughs> That's right. Shredder. Shredder look, attack. but from the front, I mean, he looks really yeah. great, actually. I thought they did. And then poor Mike, he got a, he got a little stuck. Oh, I see right here on yep. his hand. If I can get the camera to focus. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, so he's got some burns on his arms there. He does. The robotic foot soldiers blew up and <laughs> <laughs> But it's kind of cool because yeah. there's like there's some history here, right? Yes, like definitely. these these bad boys survived. Heck yeah. And they learned they lived to fight another day. They sure did. Turtle power. That's right, turtle power. So I think if it's cool with you, I'd like to uh, purchase these and bring them home with me. That would be awesome. Because now I can have a piece of your store living in my collection that way. That would be awesome. Awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so look at this. Is this is <laughs> here's my haul. I've got my oh, turtles. Got I've got door. my <laughs> Batman figures, my Kenner Batman figures. I'm gonna pick up all these Shadows of the Empire figures, yeah, um, just because, man, I'm so nostalgic for them. And I even found some Ben 10 figures for Spencer back home. Holy cow. I think I'm spent. <laughs> Man, okay, so I think that's gonna end my day here at Evansville Toys and Collectibles. Look at this. I bought all these things, but more importantly, I had a really great time here. Uh, you know, I got to meet a lot of folks, uh, sign some books, which is just always mind-blowing to me still, but I love it. I love seeing people enjoy the book, uh, and I loved seeing this store so full of people. You know, it's a fantastic store. It's a wonderful, very friendly staff. And it's amazing the story in this place and how it came about. So if you are ever in Evansville, Indiana, I would highly recommend checking out Evansville Toys and Games. Until next time, my friends. Ah!